Ebert had to steer Germany through several crises during his short time as president, and one of the most considerable strains came from the Treaty of Versailles. Many Germans, including Ebert, believed the Treaty of Versailles was intended to ruin Germany, mainly because the Germans had no say in negotiations. Germany had to give up all overseas colonies, severely restrict its army, and pay heavy war reparations as punishment for the war. Germany had to pay over 100 billion gold marks. Such payments were not sustainable, but Friedrich Ebert knew that the Allied powers would invade if Germany did not sign. Although Friedrich Ebert was focused on bettering Germany, he faced slander and hostility from the radical left and right. The left believed the president had betrayed their revolution. The right was still mourning the loss of the German Empire. Both sides thought overthrowing Ebert's government would solve their problems, so the president faced several coups or rebellions while in office.